Well, good morning, Internet fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel. We're on the Poly Track uh, Monday, the 24th of July, and the uh, eight race program. First race was off at 12.25, and uh, the usual Monday Poly Fair. But we found a few that might be worth having a good look at, so uh, listen carefully and let's see what we can help you with. First race, maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,000 meters. Well, the horse I think might end up winning this is Hokai Mai Macy Mai Macy. This is um, in that uh, famous uh, Komite Ding uh, colors and operation. And Richard Furee gets a ride. Two winners from nine, nine runners um, in this form line. And uh, she really never got into the race first time out. I think that you might find she's the right horse. You've seen the Crawford Ricks um, team. Pull this one out the bag before. And uh, what she got to beat? She's got uh, the Pacey Ladies Day with Keegan DeMello, number four to beat. Kian's Pride, uh, that's got to have a big chance because that ran in the same Kingdom of Gold race. And that's got Crawl 1, so that will help. Keen on Kelly, not a bad last. That was behind James Kavanaugh. There have been a couple of come out of that form. So all of them look like they've got a chance. And the find of the race for your quartets might be Seven Witchwood. Showed pace might improve. Race seven, race two, sorry, uh, merit rated 1700, uh, and this is um, a merit rated 70. Really difficult race. I like Little Prince. I think it's the right one of the two Habib runners. I know Lutili won very nicely last, got an eight point penalty, but Little Prince looks like uh, the four year old is pretty handily weighted here, and he's absolutely ready. If he goes on the poly, he's got the right form. Uh, ignore Majestic Power's last start, Purple Ninja Ten Turtle, uh, won well uh, last time, uh, and there was a Maiden, Thunder Masala looks like an improver, and obviously Lutili. Race 3, Maiden Plate, 1700 metres, I made a three-cornered contest, 8 Johnny the Thief, two very good runs, and I think this one will go in, uh, gets Richard Foree, big jockey plus. Uh, one medal of freedom, King de Mello's mount, drawn one, this should be a good race, the two best jockeys around, and then um, uh, Tristan Godden gets a chance on Moss, Mr. Lincoln, I think this will be right there in the shake-up to much better distance for this horse, I think he's now strengthened up, I give him a chance in a race like this. Race eight, uh, race four, sorry, I'm completely wrong as far as race is concerned. Race four, merit rated handicap, 2,000 metres, three corners as well. Bayview Express and National Dream uh, meet each other again. And at the weight turnaround, I think Bayview Express got a huge chance. Kamala rode it last time, ran behind National Dream, and uh, National Dream got an eight-point penalty for winning last time. That will put them very close, but the horse that might give them something to think about, number one, Inga Kara. Uh, Calvin gets a ride from draw one, looks good, got very good form, Inga Kara, and certainly worth putting in. Race five, mirror rated handicap, 1,000 metres. Uh, Trafalgar Square is very hard to look past number five, the Dennis Bosch inmate. Uh, Keegan DeMello ridden at the last two, and the Calvin now gets a ride. Keegan DeMello uh, rides Manguina. Number nine. So have a close look at this one. I can't see anything in the form that makes it a winner. But there you go. He's now taken the ride on that. And DeMello's written Trafalgar Square the last part. But I'm going with Trafalgar Square. Eight, what a tiger, the obvious danger from the Fabian Habib stable. He comes with a couple of good runners now. And um, uh, got to have a big chance. Race six. Um, there's a merit rated handicap, 65 fillies and mares, 1,200 metres. And the most impossible race you've ever seen in your life. The favourite two, Poppy of Bayou, uh, got good form, but doesn't know how to get his head in front. And maybe this is the right race over the 1200. Maybe that's a bit of distance, but limited. Kylie's fate, ignore its last start, has got very good form before that, and um, uh, just might be the right horse of these ratings. Then there's always like blinded by the likes, Fabian Habib's runner. Come from a 98 down to a 50. Uh, six merit rating, Muzi gets to ride it. Wow, this has got form. The, you know, earlier on, this horse would put this whole field to bed. So that's got a chance. Blush of Dawn's got a chance. Number eight, got some form. Give me a lullaby. Wouldn't leave that out. Number one, might improve. And uh, three, Fat Fortunado uh, might improve with the cheek pieces and all the others come into it. So I'm putting in the whole lot. Race seven. And this is a merit rate of fillies and mares, 1,400 metres. Catalaya Summer uh, certainly looks like 
got to have a huge chance. Ignore its last start. Um, uh, certainly, uh, there's and there was an excuse. Obviously, drawn one gets Richard Farina. now. When you see him jump on them, have a close look. Certainly, he's got some form. Uh, efficient trader number four, three good runs, good form. Expect that to go well. Morgan Lefay, she's got breathing problems, but she's course and distance suited. And I star. The Fabian Aviv runner won extremely well last time. Don't leave out hugs and high fives. Golf pullers runner, two good runs, looks like an improver as well. And then maybe even Mission Rocks off draw, from draw 12. Race 8, Mary rated 73, 1400 metres, three corners. I like, I like Eddie the Mover strongly. I think he's absolutely ready and uh, there's a perfect race for him. So they could have a good day, the Yoga's Governor outfit. They've got Bayview Express uh, running earlier and... Um, this one could go well here too. Winter waves, obvious danger. I'm sure this horse needs a set of blinkers. Well, a set of half cups might make him do the job better. Draws against him, but it's not against him because he likes to race, swoop them on the outside. Uh, he's a difficult horse, obviously, to ride. And then number five, Parminion. I think that's a very big runner. The favourites, four Fabinashi from draw 12, two year old. Going to be very, very difficult. I know he's got a big um, wrap around him, but uh, this is not going to be easy for him. So from me, James Goodman, the whole Interbet team, I uh, hope you had a great weekend, and uh, we will uh, be back with you tomorrow for the ball racing.